I paid £30 for this Xbox One S. Um, it says, console does not power on and appears to, be he appears to have been heavily forced open. Parts could be missing. Hmm. Could be. Could be missing. Could they, could they be missing? Or are they missing? Seems a little sus to me, my friend. Yeah, definitely HDMI. Uh, de uh, definitely uh, economically viable to do HDMI ports, yeah. It depends what you want to charge, because you only you can decide what your time is worth. For me, I'm charging £50 on a HDMI port. Oh, we've got some bad news here. If that is the reason that I think it is, that this is protruding, then that's bad news. So the the, the disk drive is protruding out, like as in like it's it's bulging out. And can you see that? And that's bad news. If if that's the reason why, then that is bad. If if it's if it's why I think it is, it's bad news. Can anyone think of a reason why that specific bulge would be bad news? Twenty pound for a HDMI. Nah, I would never charge £20. No. £20, I'll be honest with you, £20 is, yeah, that, that's just making a laughing stock of the industry, to be honest, not going to lie. £20 for a HDMI port, micro soldering specialist work, it's making a mockery of the industry. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. I don't agree with that at all. The, the reason for that is because you are way undervaluing the service, but you're way undervaluing the skill at £20. Like, it's like these eBay sellers. Like, honestly, the amount of people I get that all message me and say, oh, how much for a HDMI port? And when I tell them £50, and then they message me and they're like, no, that's too expensive. I can get it for 20 quid on eBay. Like, go and get it 20 quid on eBay. Come back to me when it, come back to me when they tear the HDMI traces and you have to pay me an extra £30 to do two traces. It's way undervaluing the, the service. It really is. If you're working for £20 an hour before tax, in a job as specialist as micro soldering, you may as well go out and get a job at McDonald's. <laughs> Genuinely, go out and get a job at McDonald's. It's easier. G-Force has got it. G-Force has got it. So this is protruding here, and as a general rule, the reason for that is because someone swapped it out with an original Xbox drive, an Xbox One drive. It's either the Xbox One drive or the Xbox One X drive, but I'm sure that's Xbox One. It could just be a fact that the Xbox One, uh, sorry, the, the, the drive that's in here hasn't got any screws in it and it's coming apart. But it could just be missing screws. But the thing is as well is the connectors are actually different. Okay, it is actually missing some screws, but not the screws for the disk drive. It's not missing the screw for the disk drive. So I don't think that's the reason. I don't think it's a case if it hasn't been put back in right. We'll find out. I mean, you can see it pushing itself out. They've had to force that in. What's the bet in the H... The, uh, what's the bet in it's had a load of rework and the hard drive's completely dead? I wonder. Oh, actually, no. That is the right drive. They just haven't put it back together properly. I just realised that is the right drive. It's the, it's the one X that's got the four, the four on it. It's been cleaned. It's been cleaned pretty well. A little too well. I haven't even tested this, have I? I haven't even tested this to see if it turns on. I could be complaining for no reason. <laughs> well, I would test it to see if it turns on, except the fact that the um, the buttons are all damaged. Because someone's a complete not a moron and doesn't know how to, take, how to put them back together properly. Morons. Oi, eject button. Give me that three disc that's in there because I can hear you spinning around. Oi! Give me that free disc that's in there because I can hear you spinning around.
Ha! Fit. Ah, that would explain it. Yeah, that makes sense now, doesn't he? It's got FIFA 22 in here. It's actually in mint condition as well. Sweet. Die. Die. Uh, die. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's going to hurt some people. <laughs> That's what you should do with your FIFA disco, right? <laughs> Get out of my fucking workshop. <laughs> Can you fix it though? <laughs> Bit of hot glue will be alright. <laughs> Could have traded it in, mate. They're worth nothing. They're worth absolutely nothing. FIFA 22 is worthless, honestly. I'd get like eight quid voucher for it. It's more fun to destroy it. Oh no, that's PS4. Three pound. I thought I didn't think it was worth that much. Three pound voucher, look. The original PS, the original FIFA 22, one pound ten. Jamie, you're a legend, mate. He did fix it. He removed it from this world. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh dear, I love doing that to FIFA games. It's great. Honestly, try it sometime. Try it sometime. Honestly, it's such a stress killer. Just you, you a little bit stressed out at work? Snap a FIFA game. Trust me. Brother pissing you off? Snap his FIFA game. To make you feel so much better. <laughs> It's working. Sorry, Anthony. Sorry, Anthony. I destroyed your game. Well, I guess we're not fixing this one then because it's already fixed. We just need to replace the front panel. Sorry, Anthony. Didn't mean it. Did really. Just to make it clear, I bought this console. This was my disc. I wouldn't do that to a customer. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to a customer's console. Oh, dear. Right, I need a front panel. All FIFA discs must die, I agree. I wholeheartedly agree with you, good sir. Here's that for a description. I'll nick the front panel off this one. Actually, let's nick the base off this one as well, because it's not in bad condition. It's in good enough condition to the point where I can use it for resale. Get rid of that. Drop that on there. There we go. Right, well, is that classed as a fix? Is that classed as a fix? Just replacing that front board? I mean, it works, right? The beep don't work. I'm pretty sure you can turn the beep off on uh, Xbox. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can turn the beep off. Right, it syncs the controller. There you go. It's on EU winter time. Now nah, it's because the internet's not been, it's not connected to the internet. That's why it's uh, uh, that's why it's showing the wrong time. Set up wireless. And no, I don't care if people know my Wi-Fi password. What are you gonna do? Come and use my internet? Oh, I want a 4.7 gig update. No. Not yet. You can have one in a minute. Oh, damn it. I'll turn the freaking thing off. Didn't mean that. Wouldn't be able to use my internet anyway. Don't know where I live. Ha! Password is I love FIFA. Ha! <laughs> I love it so much. I split it in two. The eject button ain't working, though. Well, I mean, eject was working, but it, it's not... 
outputting a sound. I ain't got a test disc now. Damn it. Ha! I don't know where my test discs are. Oh well, fuck it. Who cares? I'll test it tomorrow. Let's just pop a disc in. No, you're not having an update. I refuse. You live in a house on a street. I'm a detective. Well done, mate. <laughs> FIFA community is coming after you since you decided to break the disc. <laughs> oh, I'm so not scared. Volume and audio output. Uh... Now it's working. Cool. Yeah, okay. That can give an update to my mat and I'll test it out to my mat. But, yeah. Fixed. <laughs> Job done. They even serviced it for me, look. They even serviced it for me. I could have sold it with the FIFA disc, I suppose. Oh, well. I don't live in Birmingham. I don't live anywhere near Birmingham. I'm about 20 miles away from Birmingham, my friend. Paid $20 for one that's not too long ago. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, for £35. Um, new front panel. Cost a tenner. I'll take that. That was nice and easy. I'll take that. All day long. Don't even need to service the damn thing. How good am I? Winner, winner. Whack that up on the store for 60 quid. What's the case like? Mm, I've got cases in better condition than that. One that I use to strip for parts. I mean, I'd get more stripping it for parts, to be honest. I might actually strip it for parts. I'd probably get like 50 quid for the motherboard. So I might actually strip that for parts. I'll have a think about it. Might be worth more to strip down. This drives the line now, though. And so I don't know. That's in reasonable condition. I might just sell it. Give someone the chance to get a decent condition Xbox. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. There we go. Good stuff. Right, well, I'm going to consider that a fix. If it, if it wasn't working before and now it is, then that's a fix. HDMI, conditions in, uh, HDMI port's in good condition. It now turns on and works. It's got a nicer case on it. A bit cleaner. I still needs a bit of a clean down, but yeah, I'll take it.